This time around, I would like to look at a certain use of Latin expression, especially in the penal code, in the criminal justice systems, and in the development of the international criminal jurisprudence. The word is no bees in item pronounced differently in different languages it depends on which language you are looking at maybe in french ne bees in idem as well as other languages portuguese spanish but it comes from the penal justice system that is the question of the criminal justice system the expression no bees in idem got its way into the use of the english common law and meaning of no double jeopardy that means one person cannot be charged of the same crime in different courts at different times or at the same time well this is clearly spelled out in the meaning of the word itself no bees in idem no is negative or negation bees means twice whereas idem means in the same thing and in this case we find it used again in the Rome Statute of 1998 that established the International Criminal Court under Article 20, no bees in idem. That means it is not permitted that one person can be tried of the same crime at the same time or different times by different courts. Simply meaning that if the national or domestic jurisdiction is already trying a person, then the International Criminal Court has got no jurisdiction or authority to intervene. But at the same time, the court is permitted to intervene in cases in which a, a national jurisdiction has conducted or has carried out investigations but has failed to prosecute. And that again brings into our understanding the principle of complementarity in the Rome Statute that allows the International Criminal Court to work in collaboration with the national judicial authorities. It is a question of judicial sovereignty or the powers of the courts that should not be seen to be conflicting at any one given time, should not be contradicting or inconsistent with the criminal justice system in place. It was used also in the criminal tribunal of uh, Yugoslavia of 1991, again repeated in the genocide tribunal of Rwanda of 1994 and after, then also the special tribunal of Sierra Leone. The use of nebis in Eden has been repeatedly or adversely applied in matters dealing with those tribunals as well as the international criminal court and in this case it is a question of not repeating what already is being done or what has been done by one court for instance the republic of kenya one cannot be tried at a magistrate court or in any part of the country and the same person with the same offense is tried by another court in another jurisdiction. This would appear to be self-contradicting and uh, it is not 
what justice is looking at. Well, the United States of America has got federal courts and uh, state courts. And what the state court has handled, and uh, as a matter of fact, has been prosecuted or is being prosecuted, cannot at the same time be prosecuted at the federal courts. It is a question of avoiding double jeopardy as well as avoiding what I would call the inconsistency within the judicial sovereignty or the powers of the courts. Thank you for watching. Peter here, University of Nairobi School of Law, Kisum Campus. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead. I'm always happy to see your questions, your concerns, challenges, or maybe also your additional input. Write it down there. Thank you for watching.